Thank you so much, Dean Morrison, for that warm welcome. And it's really great to be here at Boston University for the inaugural Women in Data Science Boston Conference. Um, so before we jump into our really exciting agenda for the day, I first want to give some background on the WIDS conference. So the inception of the Women in Data Science Conference first began in 2015 at Stanford University with the realization that there were significantly fewer women going into the field of data science and the related field of AI, the Women in Data Science Initiative was founded with the goal of inspiring more women to go into the field. To this end, the WIDS Initiative started the WIDS Conference um, to showcase amazing women doing outstanding high-impact technical work in a broad range of fields from academia to industry to government to NGOs. And a related outcome is that this is an incredible way to educate and inspire all comers that there are lots of awesome ways that you can be involved in the field of data science. So finally, this conference also aims to empower women in data science to help them strengthen their network. So that first conference at Stanford in 2015 had more than 400 attendees, and it sold out within just a couple of weeks. So they decided to add a live stream. And for that first event, more than 6,000 participants logged in from around the world. And so this made them realize that they could have a significantly greater impact if they leveraged the live stream, and also if they recruited regional ambassadors to organize and host regional events like this one with the same mission. And so fast forward three years to 2018. Just last year, more than 150 WIDS events took place in more than 50 countries. And in all, more than 100,000 people attended, logged in, or tuned in to WIDS. And so I'm so excited for WIDS Boston to now also be joining this global network. It really seems like yesterday when there were three of us sitting around a table talking about this uh, challenge that we saw, how to get more women into the field of data science and related fields like AI. We've seen that the numbers are pretty much stagnant for the last 10 or 15 years, percentage-wise. And it's only when all these diverse opinions are brought together in, in a team that you can have a much higher chance of coming up with it impartial, unbiased answer that, that truly thinks about everybody. It's more likely when I walk into a room that people won't automatically think I am the director of research. Who do they think you are? They might think that I'm just there to help out the director of research. <laughs> and so we started the conference to really showcase amazing women high impact technical work in such a broad range of fields from academia to industry, some in government, some in NGOs, and to show other people out there that, hey, there's lots of really cool ways that you can be involved in data science. There's this really important thing that we as humans bring, and that's knowledge. Not all the knowledge we have is in the data. And this is where visualization is so important to data science because it is, it is the mechanism that helps people bring their knowledge to bear and to make decisions. What are the recommendation algorithms that I can come up with that have particular properties? And then you go and you test how they actually behave. The hardworking data scientist is indispensable, but the wise data scientist automates and scales. The people who are present here are older than us and have you know, already charted their path. That's been very interesting. People have done incredibly non-linear things to get to where they right. are now. Yeah. We went from zero regional events around the world to now, um, you know, nearly 200 in, in, in so many different countries. And, you know, it's one of the best things I can do with my time. And the WITS day itself on campus is my favorite day of the year. When we started working on WIDS, we were trying to inspire others, and we were hoping that we would be able to inspire others worldwide. And what ended up happening is, with all these WIDS ambassadors, um, all of their creativity, all of their passion, all of their enthusiasm, that turned out to inspire us. I believe that such events provide an exciting opportunity to increase everyone's participation in data science community to share knowledge and definitely to inspire others. 
and it's a great opportunity to show the importance of data science in different fields and the valuable contribution that women give to this area. My dream is to see more women in this scientific field because it encourages women to share their extraordinary work, have meaningful discussions and become leaders in this exciting field. I want to inspire the women in this science in Nigeria and also want to encourage them to participate more in this field. Thank you. Also, I feel it is a great platform for all of us to come together and hone our skills in the technology that drives decisions across fields. It's not just a conference. We have a datathon that we started last year, and then we also just launched a new podcast series, and it has some just fantastic interviews with women in many really different areas uh, of data science. If that is going to become completely data-driven over time, then you can't miss that opportunity. You've got to join in and, and, and then have your say. It's about you. All of you are empowered with the ability to do those experiments and to save the world. Have an absolutely fantastic day here. Be educated, be inspired, and be ready to go out there and change the world. All right, so now I hope you as, are as inspired as I am by this amazing global community. And so I'm so thrilled for WIDS Boston to now also be joining this tremendous network. Um, I want to thank, thank our generous sponsors for helping us make this happen. You'll see a lot of them outside. Hopper is a phone app that uses big data to predict and analyze airfare. Cambridge Mo uh, Mobile Telematics works to improve safety on the road. We have Aurora Flight Sciences, Mass Mutual, Harvard Data Science Review, which has a forthcoming publication um, that you can find more information about at the front desk. Merrimack College has a new um, Master's of Science in Data Science. They can tell you more about it outside. Also, TCB Analytics, Vectra, Periscope Data, the New York Times, the BU Hariri Institute for Computing, and the Boston Children's Hospital. Um, and so, uh, a few housekeeping items before we jump into our agenda for the day. There are flyers around on the different tables for accessing Wi-Fi. Here is some more information if you don't already have it. You pass the bathrooms as you were walking in. They're just before the coat rack. There's coffee at the back and lots of breaks throughout the day. So I hope you use this as an opportunity to get to know your data science community here in Boston. If you're inspired to tweet or post on social media, here's our hashtag. And if you have any questions, you can direct them to me or the um, amazing volunteers at the front desk. Um, and again, a huge thank you to Boston University and in particular, Catherine Garrity for coordination and the other amazing WIDS volunteers, including Madeline Hamilton and Michelle Sue, who are around. And so as Maria Clave said at the end of that video, I hope that everybody has a really fantastic day that we all get educated, inspired, and ready to go out there and change the world. <laughs>